Hi folks, I'm Spencer and on today's episode of Court Mania we're doing something a little different. We're looking at the first two series of Utopia. The British one, not that rubbish American remake. Utopia aired on Channel 4, running for two series, each one being six episodes. Its creator and lead writer was Dennis Kelly and half of its episodes were directed by Mark Munden. Actually, their new show, The Third Day, which is finishing about the time that I'm recording this, is really, really worth checking out as well. For me, Utopia was the first really sort of cinematic British TV show I'd seen. And to be honest, I really don't think there's been anything like it since. Nothing this violent, nothing this weird. Just nothing this amazing, to be honest. Where is Jessica High? The story revolves around a group of everyday people who meet on a chat room dedicated to a graphic novel called The Utopia Experiment. A manuscript for a sequel is discovered, but alongside the fans, a sort of strange group of people called The Network are also in pursuit of this manuscript. It's a comic. It's a graphic novel. It's called The Utopia Experiments. It's not long before our protagonists are on the run from this network, thrust into a world of madness and conspiracy that they could never be prepared for. And I have to say, the plot is just full of twists and turns. Nothing is ever quite what you expect. And I have to say, that never lets up over the 12 episode run. I mean, you are constantly just being wrong footed and surprised by things, and that's what keeps it engaging over those 12 episodes. Who? What? Why? The characters in the show are all absolutely amazing. I mean, I'd like to try and tell you that, ah, oh, this character's my favourite, or this person really... But that would be doing a disservice to everyone else that I didn't pick, because this really is a show built around an ensemble cast. There are a lot of characters to keep track of, but it never feels like a character is forgotten or anyone isn't getting screen time. Everyone gets to be developed, they get their own subplots, without it ever being too complicated to follow. Or at least, not complicated in a, ah, I can't keep up with this, it's complicated in a sort of intentional, like, what is happening? In a good way. Even the series' is everyman character, Ian, who is basically just an avatar for the audience, he's the character that you go, that is me, even he has a whole journey and you've seen him develop and he's a fully rounded character. I don't drink tea. Caffeine was invented by the CIA. And I think it's really impressive that a very normal character can stand out in a show that has surreal assassins like Neil Maskell's character, or weird, sort of weedy government people, or incredibly sweary children. That is just a note to make, actually. Everyone in Utopia has a very good grasp of every bit of colourful vernacular in the English language, but I never found it to be great and it's often really funny people come up with some bizarre insults that are just fantastic. Also, I didn't really pick up on this until I was sat writing. The cast is so incredibly diverse and yet it never feels forced. It never feels like you are being introduced to new characters just because they will tick a box. I think what most people will be struck by the first time they see any of Utopia is just how freaking fabulous it always looks. I mean, the cinematography across both series is phenomenal. You have these lovely, contrasty, overly saturated colours. It's all shot in this glorious widescreen, except for one of the episodes in part two, which is shot in 4x3, which even that still manages to look amazing, and it all looks very cinematic. And I never found the sort of oppressive colours to be intrusive or sort of irritating. They always seem to serve a purpose and to me 
that purpose is that you are looking at places that if you live in Britain you will go oh I've walked past somewhere that looks exactly like that but now it's just that little bit off it's that bit heightened and that is the sort of sense of the story you are in this normal world that's suddenly just gone slightly off kilter and I think it really works. This is an important little side note please do not watch this show on Amazon even the British one they've managed to mess up because they've put it on in the wrong aspect ratio. Like I said, the series is shot in widescreen. If you watch it on Amazon, they've stretched it, got rid of the black bars. I don't know what they've done, but it now looks horrible. So please pick up one of the physical editions. You'll thank me for it. This is not going how I imagined it would. The show is pretty violent. I mean, actually, pretty violent is very, very much underselling it. I mean, I remember when this was first on, it got so many complaints about stuff in the first couple of episodes. I mean, it can be very violent, but there are a lot of points as well where really disturbing things happen off screen or are alluded to. So do bear that in mind. It is quite intense and even some of the, you know, just the themes and the plot go into some incredibly dark territory. I think that is why it's good that there are a lot of parts of humour, lots of black humour, lots of just slapstick humour as well, but it is, it is quite oppressive and I can, I can imagine it rubbing people up the wrong way, well I know it did because of the amount of Ofcom complaints that it had. But that darkness is so important, it's so important to why Utopia feels different why it was so sort of attention grabbing at the time even you know the baddies in it are fully fleshed out you can almost sympathize with where they're coming from which i can imagine makes a lot of audience members feel incredibly uncomfortable but it all adds to why utopia is so special and why it deserves to be seen even, you know, six years after it started. What have you got a gun for? It's for shooting people. The show's soundtracks by Christopher Tapia de Vert are... I'm going to go for my favourite pieces of music in any TV series ever. It's such a varied soundtrack. There is so much different stuff going on in it and it sounds like nothing else on telly you have these fantastic sort of upbeat electronic almost danceable songs but then you have these really creepy sort of hums and chants there's a lot of stuff to do with voices on the soundtrack which I think sort of helps to differentiate it but then I mean you've got stuff playing around with like there's some sort of samba sounding stuff, there's some reggae sounding stuff but it never feels disjointed, it's all sort of brought together by these sort of shared strange sounds that it never feels like you're listening to a hodgepodge of different music, it all sort of coalesces beautifully. I mean there are so many points in which you're going to be listening to this soundtrack and think what on earth? was that noise, in the best possible way. I mean, I read when the series started that rhino poo was used on the soundtrack, and I'm sure that's not true, but this is the sort of soundtrack where you could go, yeah, probably was. And it doesn't matter whether the show is trying to be creepy or exciting or funny, the soundtrack always seems to perfectly fit with it. And actually, to be honest, it can help to make one scene, all of those things at once. Honestly, like Utopia without this soundtrack is, is half of the programme. And that could sound like a criticism and it's not. It's just that the soundtrack is that good and that distinct. Also, it's really, really good walking music. You know, you put it on your headphones and you bop around and it's great. So, even if you don't watch the show, track down the soundtrack and listen to it because you will not be disappointed and it'll then probably make you want to watch the show anyway. Things are going to get mad. 
I really, really can't recommend Utopia enough. I mean, in my opinion, it has everything you could ever want from a TV show. And the only the only thing that I can say that might people not want to watch it, apart from some of the darker stuff, is that it doesn't have an ending. There was clearly intended to be a, a series three. The, you know, it's the, it's the Twin Peaks thing of we don't have an end. And, I mean, it is so worth watching anyway, but I can understand that not everyone wants to get really, really deep into a story to find that it doesn't doesn't go anywhere. But, I mean, that's my problem with us getting the stupid American remake that no one likes, is that that money, that money could have gone to giving us the season three that we were sort of being promised at the end of season two. But, I mean... I just have to be glad that we got the two series we did and we got them in the completely violent, completely creepy, weird, bizarre, bonkers version that we did. You know, it, it really does feel like a show made by people who had an idea and just fully, fully committed to it without thinking, oh, we have got to please this audience or, you know, we've got to also appeal to these people. It is just what it is. And in my eyes, it is perfect. I've watched both series through countless times, you know. I've watched all 12 hours of it at least four or five times. It never gets old. It probably actually gets better because you just notice small little details in the back of shots. I just... You, you need to watch it. Watch it. Go and... There is still a Twitter account out there to save Utopia. Go and follow it. Let's see if we can get Channel 4 to do another series or someone else to pick it up. It'll still work. It still feels important. A lot of the themes that are in it are still incredible, if not more relevant today than they were when the series started. Just please do yourself a favour and go and watch this. I mean, even, even if you've watched the crummy American version and hated it, don't hold that feeling against the original. It is still so worth your time. Because, I mean, it will just make you realise how much they messed up because this is what that could have been. But that's just my opinion. Have you seen Utopia? Do you want to check it out now? Let me know down in the comments, like and subscribe so you don't miss any more videos, and I'll see you next time.